simulate simulation. This is quadrature amplitude modulation. Quam. You know, quadrature means four, and I, I believe this came about because it refers to the analog version of this. There's an analog and digital version. We're going to be doing the digital version. So it's going to be way more than quad. Than four. So as with all the angle modulations, and this includes amplitude and angle, it turns out, you can vary both, which I'll show you in a minute. It's much easier to look at this in on a constellation diagram. I got a diagram here on Quam that gives this is 16 level Quam gives you a little idea. When you're looking at the time domain, it's just not giving you much there to go by in intuition. So you could stare at that all day and just not get it. So let's let's go to the constellation diagram, which is much easier to understand. Anytime we've got angle modulation. And if I put down a four level qualm, four possible angles, you can look at that and you say, hey, that's really no different than QPSK that we, we saw last week. Quadrature phase shift keying. And it's true. Four level qualm ends up being equivalent to P uh, QPSK. But let's let's go and add some dots here. If I make this 16 level, then you can see 16 level qualm. Each one of those, you know, we have 16 possible symbols here. Each of them has their own unique combination of angle and amplitude, you can see there, every one of these points, all 16 points are unique in, in angle and amplitude. I'm not going to write them all in, but you get the point. And so this gives us 16 possible symbols. Uh, you know, you get 16 from all the combinations of four binary bits, so we could label all of these, you know, starting with 0, 1, 2, all the way up to, you know, E and F if we're talking about hex. All possible combinations give us 16. So, I mean, a lot of data can be sent, you know, with, with this because we're getting four bits at a time, 16 possible symbols. And you can keep going higher. I mean, they go really high in quam. I got a picture here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The 4096 level quam. Look at that. It it's just boggles my mind that that even works. I mean, that's like, you know, the way we get errors is if noise causes, you know, one of these points to mistakenly be taken for another. Well, I mean, look at that. It's not going to take much noise to make one point look like another at 40,000, 4096 quam. It just blows my mind. And hats off to the engineers that made that make that work. Part of the reason they can do that is because you use it in applications where you can get away with noise occasionally, and you don't. You can put up with some errors. Uh, they use quam in video applications a lot of times. And what happens if you get an error? little blip on the screen that your eye doesn't even notice maybe. So, you know, for an application like that, you can get away with doing stuff like 4096 qualm. It just still amazes me that it works. So the spectrum of this, I won't even put up there because it's going to be the same as last week. It's going to be, you know, the data is a binary data stream, so it's going to be some sort of a sync function, plus or minus some carrier. The phase information, like last time we talked about, is not on that plot, so they all have similar plots. The phase information is going to be you know, found by tracking carrier phase and noticing where there's 
angle differences and things like that. I, I still, I just 4096, that amazes me. So what we're gonna do, for your pre-lab due next week, you're gonna do the same thing you did this week. You're gonna do a one to three page report on QAM from your COM book, from the internet, just like we've been doing. Time, frequency, equations, block diagrams, application. And then you can use it when you turn in the report for your Simulink investigation you're gonna do. So, you know, the Simulink investigation, you're gonna be varying a couple quantities. You're gonna vary the QAM level. So here are the QAM level 16, there it's 4096. You have the ability in the Simulink to even do 4096. You can set it up to be that. And you're also gonna vary the noise level or signal to noise ratio. Those are things you can set in your simulation in the blocks. You know, to set the QAM level, you've got a transmitter and a receiver QAM block, and in there you can set the level. Has to do it at both ends because they have to match. And then SNR can be set in the noisy channel. There's a channel that uh, simulates a noisy channel, and you can set the SNR level in there. And the idea with this investigation is that you go in and you do several combinations of these two. Like maybe set the QAM level and then vary the SNR a few times and look at and, and judge what's going on. Uh, change the QAM level and, and do some variations and just you know, do some combinations and make observations and do your own little investigation on, on how these different things, the level and the, and the noise will affect QAM. And of course you'll have your pre-lab in there in some form as the intro so you'll have a full report kit. So, you know, you'll see things like this. Like, say, we'll just do an example here. We have a constellation diagram of a, of a transmitter. Here it's clean, it hasn't been corrupted by noise yet. And we go through our channel, and I believe it's a additive white Gaussian noise channel, if I recall. And then over here, we're not going to get it good and clean because noise has corrupted it to some degree. So instead of having a good clean dot, we'll have a little cloud of dots where noise is pushed off, you know, in some random way. What used to, when, when it was transmitted, a clean dot. So this is like a little cloud, of, you know, distributed with a Gaussian or something like that of, of dots around, you know, with some variance around, you know, hopefully that's the mean of the dot that, that what was transmitted. And then as the, as you decrease the SNR or make the noise go up, of course this cloud's gonna spread out. And then you can go to some extremes where this whole thing's just a bunch of dots. Because noise just puts it out all over the place and you're, it's just errors galore. So these are the kind of things you'll play around with and, and note when you do your investigation. So next week when you come, all we're gonna do in here is you're gonna get that thing running, and then I'm gonna, you're gonna call me over and I'm gonna make sure it's running right and check you off, that's it. Then you guys are gonna go off and do your investigation. You don't need to do it in class next week. All you're doing is showing me next week you got this thing running. So if you come into class and you've got it for prepared, pull it up, run it, you're out of here. Anybody been working on this at all? <laughs> no, but <it's> zero. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. The last class didn't either. Somehow Tuesday had several people that did. Maybe they were lying. Maybe they were just trying to impress me. Anyways, uh, get working on that thing. Build that thing. And uh, all you'll do next week is demo it to me that it's running, and then you can leave. And usually I kind of ease up here on due dates. So if you show me ne next week and I check you off that it's running, I give you to the semester deadline to turn this thing. Okay. Uh, what else on this? Maybe I'll talk a little more about it next week. But any questions on any of this? Yes. I'm gonna what? 
said you're going to drop the lowest score or no? No, never said that. Those words never left my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though. Yes? So I checked on Canvas, and I noticed that we have a final exam. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But rest assured, it's more like a final quiz. It's a short answer, a few sentences per question. On the order of one question per lab, just content, no calculations, nothing but that. Just based on understanding. Yes? Is it only numbers? No, it's just closed everything. Any more questions on Quam? I have another question about the final exam. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be online or in person? In, in person. Okay. Yeah, but it, it usually lasts. You know, the, the first people are ending in 10 minutes, and the last people who the kind that check their work 30 times are finishing in a half an hour. So it's pretty quick. All right, well, let's talk about tonight. Well, I'm going to get you out of here pretty quick tonight. As I mentioned, 